Hey guys, I hope everyone is having an awesome day today. So, today I am starting what I can say is one of the largest movie franchises in the world, Harry Potter. I haven't seen many of the films, and if I have, I was like a baby, like a straight up small child that was barely watching the TV. So everything that I know about Harry Potter was either from like social media, from video games, or memes, which is like social media, yeah. So the things that I do know, Quidditch, there's four houses, yeah, <laughs> uh, PS2 Gandalf, Hagrid, <sighs> I almost, oh my god, okay. I know that, and I know that there is a spider forest. I saw one movie where there was a ghost haunting the boys' toilet and a big snake underground. There's witches and wizards. I think they're called witches. <sighs> what else do I know? Oh, Harry Potter's family. <laughs> Terrible family. You just have him living under the staircase. Um, and that's really it. Uh, I know he- th Oh, there's a villain with no nose, Voldemort. And that's all I really know about Harry Potter, so I'm really excited to start with the Sorcerer's Stone today. And as you can tell, I tr it's fall, it's the perfect time. I'm trying with my witchy aesthetic. We're getting into Harry Potter mode, and I'm going to embrace it to the fullest extent. So I hope you guys will join me and enjoy it. I know I'll enjoy it, it's a huge franchise, and I'm gonna try really hard to not make British jokes because I do that. Without further ado, we're gonna get into the movie, but if you are new to the channel, thank you so, so, so much for coming by and taking a chance and clicking on the video. I do appreciate it a lot. And if by the end of the video, you really do like it and you wanna show extra support and have access to my full length commentary, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description. There you have access to full length commentary as well as my full length reviews. Um, without further ado, let's get into Harry Potter, the Sorcerer's Stone. Are you all prepared to jump into the world of Harry Potter? Because I am. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So this was 2001. I was five years old when this came out. No wonder I wasn't like huge into the franchise. Privet Drive. Oh, that's um, mm, mm, not Dusseldorf. He's stealing people's lights? He's stealing electricity? Get your own, dude. That's highly illegal, I imagine. There's probably no laws against it, but... I should have known that you and... would be here, Professor McGonagall. I want my professor to be a cat! That's awesome! Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true? Help us. I'm afraid so, Professor. And the boy? Hagrid is bringing him. Why do you need it to fly? Why can't you use the road? That's no Hagrid. Problems, I trust Hagrid. No, sir. Try not to wake him. They stole a baby? Whose child did they steal? The oh. only family he has. This boy will be famous. This is Harry. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. So they stole Harry as a baby and gave him to like the only family he has. Good luck, Harry. Potter. Get up! Daniel Radcliffe as a baby! Imagine living under the staircase! That's so horrible! Wait, did she lock him in? What if he has to pee? Wake up, Potter! We're going to the zoo! <laughs> oh, man. I want everything to be perfect. I'm warning you now, boy. Any funny business. And you won't have any meals for a week. Giddy. I'm confused. Is Harry like a, a troublemaker? I why are they bullying him so bad? Move! Move! He's asleep! If I was somebody nearby, I would not hesitate to drop kid drop kick Dudley. He doesn't understand what it's like. Lying there day after day, watching people press their ugly faces in on you. Can you hear me? The snake should bite him. <laughs> bite him, snake! Bite him! Thanks. Any time. And how do you make the glass disappear? I don't know. 
poor Harry Boar. What happened? I swear I don't know. There's no such thing as magic. Why do they have a lock on the door like that? Like he's some kind of animal. They treat him so horribly. Well, I have to wear that too. <laughs> Stupid, you're going to go to the state school where you belong. Go and get the post. For, is for me? Oh, at a funny well. Dad, look, I just got a letter. Hey, give it back, it's mine. We'll be writing to you. Excuse me. Why don't... They hate Harry. Why don't they want him gone? They hate him, but they want to abuse him for the rest of his life. It's a letter? <laughs> Just give him the dang letter. They're wasting so much paper. In my opinion, best day of the week. Because there's no post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. That is so cool. I'm so sorry. Just open it and run! 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 It's the easiest way to get rid of Harry and not drive yourself insane. Make a wish, Harry. That's so sad. It's Hagrid! I know that big old beard anywhere. Moin, I haven't seen you since you was a baby, Harry, but you're a bit more along than I would have expected, particularly around the middle. <laughs> Destroy Dudley's confidence. Got something for you. Baked it myself, words and all. Gift. Thank you. Blimey, Harry, didn't you ever wonder where your mum and dad learned it all? You're a wizard. I will not be going to tell you. We swore when we took him in we'd put a stop to all this rubbish. You knew. Ooh. This boy's had his name down ever since you were born. Oh my god, of course he's eating the cake. It's not even his. <laughs> he is like a rat. I love that. First year students will require oh, one the tube. wand. All students must be equipped with one standard size two pewter cauldron. Can we find all this in London? If you know where to go. Really? So if I go to London, I can find all that and wands? It's Harry Potter. Doris Crockford, Mr. Potter. I can't believe I'm meeting you at last. See, Harry, you're famous. But why am I famous? I'm not sure I'm exactly the right person to tell you that, Harry. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. So this is where all the witches and wizards are. I haven't any money. Well, there's your money, Harry. Gringotts, the wizard bank. Mr. Harry Potter wishes to make a withdrawal. Professor Dumbledore gave me this. It's about you know what in fault, you know which. Vault 687. I feel like this place would be pretty easy to infiltrate. Oh yeah, by the way, Harry, you're rich. Didn't think your mom and dad would leave you with nothing though, did you? Vault 713. What's in there, Hagrid? Can't tell you, Harry. Best not to mention this to anyone, Harry. I still need a wand. We well, want Ollivanders. There ain't no place better. I just got one more thing I got to do. Won't be long. So the witch, witchy world has always been around in this universe. Universe. I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Potter. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. The phoenix, whose tail feather resides in your wand, gave another feather when its brother gave you that scar. So he was attacked as a baby by a phoenix? And who owned that wand? We do not speak his name, but that we can expect great things from you. A lot of pressure to put on an 11-year-old child. Happy, happy birthday. <gasps> Hi, baby! First, and understand this, Harry, because it's very important. Not all wizards are good. A few years ago, there was one wizard that went as bad as you can go. And his name was... V are we talking about Voldemort? Voldemort. Voldemort? <gasps> it was dark times, Harry, dark times. Your parents fought against him. Nobody lived once he decided to kill him. Except you. 
Something about you stumped him that night. That's why you're famous. So it's not like his parents were great, it's just he's the only person that Voldemort didn't kill, but he gave him a curse. Your train leaves in 10 minutes. Here's your ticket. And stick to it, Harry. That's very important. Stick to your ticket. Weasley! Ron. Okay, I also know Hermione and Ron. Excuse me. Could you tell me how to is walk straight at the wall? between platforms nine and 10. Oh no, oh no. I, there's an animal in the front of the cart. Please be careful. Oh my goodness. He's gonna smash into it. Oh, oh, oh he didn't. Oh, this is so much cooler than the other train tracks. Oh, that must be beautiful. I'm Ron, by the way. Ron Weasley. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. So it's true. Snacks, snacks. Anything off the trolley, oh, dear? Everything. No, thanks. We'll take the lot. What? Scabbers, by the way. Is that they his gave me animal? Spell us to turn him yellow. Want to see? Yeah. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see then. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. <sighs> well, it's not very good, is it? Oh my gosh, she's kind of annoying. Growing up, I had the same hair that she does. I had really thick, wavy hair just like that. I had the same haircut growing up. That's so crazy. Right then, first years. This way, please! Hello, Harry. Hey, Hagrid. Whoa! Right then, this way to the boats. Come on, now. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now, in a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. But before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. The sorting hat thingy! Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking, and you will lose points. The sorting ceremony will begin momentarily. So, I have taken the the wizarding house thing and I've gotten three houses. I've gotten Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, and Slytherin. I shall place the sorting hat on your head and you will be sorted into your head. This is exciting! Hermione Granger? Uh, right. Gryffindor! Oh, okay. Hi. <sighs> Harry. Harry Potter? Difficult. Better be Gryffindor! Let the feast begin. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. Good thing I had some old Pop Tarts to eat. There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. Mr. Potter, tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Kids his first day, cut him some slack. Yes, sir. And what is the difference between monkshood and wolfbane? Fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. P Why is he going after Harry? He's a scary professor. I wouldn't want to be in his class. I feel like if I got anything less than a perfect score, he'd like beat me in front of the class. He just has it out for him. And I, why? He's a child. Snape, is your arch nemesis really an 11 year old boy? Welcome to your first flying lesson. Stick your right hand over the broom. Keep your broom steady. Hover for a moment, then lean forward slightly and touch back down. I, I feel like the kids are kind of too close together. I think this is a bad idea. This is gonna be bad. Mr. Long, Mr. Long! Great that I know it's 2001. It's like Sh Shrek animation. Everyone's to keep their feet firmly on the ground while I take Mr. Longbottom to the hospital wing. You see his face? Maybe if the fat lump would give him this a squeeze, he would remember to fall on his fat ass. <laughs> give what it a hand now, boy. Oh. How about on the roof? They should totally snitch on him and get him expelled because he's a bully. Have it your way then. <laughs> Go down before she comes back. Go down! Quick, 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 quick! Harry Potter! Follow me. You wait here. Could I borrow wood for a moment, please? Oh, yes. <laughs> wood. I have found you a seeker. I'm telling you, it's spooky. <laughs> the staircase has changed, remember? Is there a schedule for the staircases? You gotta have a, a spreadsheet with the times? I. <laughs> It's still just now. Ron. Big baby. Hello, Hamora. Get in. Everything's this door's locked. It's 
was locked, and for good reason. <laughs> You're telling me that little wooden old door is gonna hold back like a Cerberus's puppy? This is so cool. Where's Hermione? Fatty Patel said that she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom. Prefects will lead our house back to the dormitories. Teachers will follow me to the dungeon. I want to see what Snape's got. I feel like although he's targeting Harry Potter, I think he's very powerful. He just has that kind of feeling. What? Hermione! Why? Poke him in the butt. Poke him in the butt. Ew. Oh, God, you <laughs> get bonk. Can he get his wand back though? I know her hair dilemma. I had the same hair. Now every time I look at her hair, I'm like, I was like that too. Ah. Explain yourselves, both of you. I went looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it. Be that as it may, it was an extremely foolish thing to do. Very disappointed in you, Miss Granger. Okay, I'm a bit confused because I don't know why Hermione didn't just tell the truth. Like, hey, I was crying in the bathroom. They remembered that I was in here, wanted to help me, and it just so happened that before we could get her out, this troll um showed up. That's like the most logical thing. Just tell the truth next time. He's like, hmm, where's my star pupil? That explains the blood. Listen, last night, I'm guessing Snape let the troll in as a diversion so he could try and get past that three-headed dog. But he got himself bitten. That's why he's limping. Is that what they got from the vault? You know what the dog is hiding? Let's open it. No, like, you can't guess what it is. It's not like a, a broom or anything. It's a Nimbus 2000. <laughs> It's so creative, like this whole game and everything, the concept, so interesting. I feel really immersed, I really like this. Oh, it's gonna be the wonderful Shrek effects. I, mean, I can't wait to see this, it's gonna be great. Today's game, Slytherin versus Gryffindor. The bludges are rough. That's hard. Snape, you dirtbag! Snape, he's jinxing the broom! Or you can light him on fire, that is... expected it to be i expected it to literally look like shrek what that dog is guarding is strictly between professor okay, dumbledore wait. and nicholas flamel who's nicholas flamel i don't know happy christmas <laughs> harry happy christmas ron well, looks like you got one too i've got presents yeah harry deserves it he had a horrible childhood but i think dudley existing takes the cake he died it is time it was returned to you. For what is it? Is this garbage? Some kind of cloak. That's an invisibility cloak. That's so cool. Who gave it to you? There was no name. Who's there? Show yourself. This music is very eerie too. <laughs> you don't want me as your enemy, Quirrell. Okay, but how is he not gonna get caught out of bed? Like, they sprinted to the dorms. They're gonna find him. I trust by now you realize what it does. It shows us nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our hearts. Tomorrow, 
It will be moved to a new home. I can see how that would happen. And I must ask you not to go looking for it again. He's totally right. It must be so hard for Harry, though. What was, I don't remember what his name was, Glenn? Oh, chicken cutlet. What would Harry do without you? Honorad? I don't, what is this thing's name? Tell me his name or I will keep guessing random things, please. I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? Stupid. Of course, here it is. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. The Sorcerer's Stone is a legendary substance with astonishing powers, which will make the drink for immortal. That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. This is all insinuation, too. They're, they have no concrete evidence of any of this, and it makes me nervous, because what if they're entirely wrong? I think Snape's trying to steal it. S Snape is one of the teachers protecting the stone. He's not about to steal it. What? You heard. Who's that? <laughs> Malfoy! Good evening. And to ensure that it doesn't happen. <laughs> what about again, Malfoy? All four of you will receive detention. I thought you said the four of us. No, you heard me correctly, Mr. Malfoy. You'll be serving detention with Hagrid tonight. I feel like this is a lot of work for Hagrid. Not only is he doing something dangerous, but he has to watch kids to make sure they're not in danger too. If anything, it's a punishment for Hagrid. Ron, Hermione, you'll come with me. And Harry, you'll go with Malfoy. And do what? I wonder if they're gonna be friends by the end of Harry Potter, or they're gonna be, like, enemies always. Because, you know, kids are just, I guess, angry when they're younger. A centaur? What the heck is happening right now? Harry Potter, you must leave. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. You have slain something so pure that from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life. That thing that killed the unicorn, that was Voldemort. Do you know what is hidden in the school at this very moment, Mr. Potter? No idea. Oh yeah, Sorcerer's Stone. I do know. I do know. Don't you see? We had it wrong. Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants the stone for Voldemort. He's not that evil. That's impossible. Don't you think it's a bit odd that what Hagrid wants more than anything is a drag? Hagrid, who gave you the dragon egg? What did he look like? I don't know. But I told him, I said, I said the trick with any beast is to know how to calm him. Take Fluffy, for example. Just play him a bit of music and he falls straight to sleep. I shouldn't have told you that. No, Voldemort knows how to get to the Sorcerer's Stone. You're sneaking out again, aren't you? I won't let you. You'll get Gryffindor into trouble again. Neville, I'm really, really sorry about this. Petrificus Totalus. He's got horrible breath. We have to move its paw. The hot dog breath. Does it seem a bit quiet to you? Here are the keys. And I'll bet one of them fits that door. Go on, Harry! If Snape could catch it on that old broomstick, you can. You're the youngest seeker in a century. It is too easy, it's a trap. They're like annoying mosquitoes. Or cicadas, or I don't even know. That they're like curses in ancient Egypt. What are they? But give me those vibes. I feel like this is high stakes chess. Harry, you take the empty bishop square. Hermione, you'll be the queenside castle. You there, D5. <laughs> yes, Hermione. I think this is gonna be exactly like wizard chess. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You understand right, Harry? Once I make my move, then you're free to check the king. Knight to h3. At least it was the horse, it was just a stab. Oh, that piece of rock really hit him in the face. That made it look realistic. 
Checkmate. Take care of Ron. Then go to the Owlery. Send a message to Dumbledore. Ron's right. I have to go on. Now he's gonna 1v1 his arch nemesis, Snape. You? Potions, Professor. It can't be. Snape, he, he was the- <laughs> Yes, he does seem the type, doesn't he? During the Quidditch match, Snape tried to kill me. Mm, no, dear boy. I tried to kill you. I would have succeeded, even with Snape muttering his little counter curse. Snape was trying- <gasps> Snape's a good guy! I see myself holding the stone. But how do I get it? Use for the boy. Come here, Potter! He would like the stone. What is it? What do you see? I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. Lies. Stop snitching! Let me speak to him. Ew! It was he on the back of his head? No. Don't make it gross like that. Don't make it gross like that. Oh, it's probably so nasty. Uh, oh, that's so gross. That's so nasty. When you can join me and live. Never! Just give me the stone! Liar! Zero to a hundred real quick. Dang. What? What is this magic? Fool, get the stone! His hand just fell off! Burn his face! Yes! Mummy vibes. It turned into liquid? Daniel Radcliffe has the same face. Good afternoon, Harry. What happened down in the dungeons between you and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret. So, naturally, the whole school knows. <laughs> you murdered one of the professors. They hated him. But what happened to the stone? Relax, dear boy. The stone has been destroyed. But that flew out. He'll die, won't he? Sunday. He will die. Harry, do you know why Professor Quirrell couldn't bear to have you touch him? Because he thinks you have cooties. What is it? Love, Harry. He's never felt love, so when you touch him lovingly like Harry did, you disintegrate and, and die. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm still single. <laughs> Are those dunce caps? Another year gone. The House Cup needs awarding. In fourth place, Hufflepuff. Gryffindor oh. with 312 points. Third place, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Throw Gryffindor in first place. Oh, there's so much corn. Second place, Ravenclaw. And in first place, with 472 points, Slytherin House. Yeah! Crush their dreams, Dumbledore. Crush them! Recent events must be taken into account. And I have a few last minute points to award. Hermione Granger, while others were in grave peril. 50 points. That lemonade next to the corn? Ugh. To Mr. Ronald Weasley for the best played game of chess. 50 points. I thought, I thought that Dumbledore's hat had graffiti on it. Like. To Mr. Harry Potter. Tell me it's like a hundred. For pure nerve and outstanding courage. 60 points. Yeah! Somebody do quick math. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies. 10 points to Neville Longbottom. Gryffindor just exists. Assuming that my calculations are correct, I believe that a change of decoration is in order. Gryffindor wins. Gryffindor has cool red color. 20 points, Gryffindor. Slytherin, honestly. Train's leaving. Tell me Harry is going back home. Come on, hurry up. His family sucks though. This is for you. Thanks, Hagrid. And so that's the end of the first Harry Potter movie, huh? I have never seen it. 
I just finished watching Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the first time and I have to say I wasn't super crazy about it. It was a very good movie. I was super immersed, but I think I'm just spoiled with movies. Like all of the movies that I've watched are like flashy and amazing. So I feel like this movie was more of the origin story of Harry Potter getting to know who he is, his parents, as well as kind of introducing Voldemort and all the characters. It's just opening you up to the universe of Harry Potter, which I think they did a phenomenal job in, you know? They really made you feel what it's like to kind of live at Hogwarts, how the students interact and how the houses are, how it is to be a witch or a wizard and like the classes. I think it's so cool. You also get a fair amount of every character's personality and there's little twists and stuff like not t little like the big twist was you know Snape being a good guy and him being he was creepy the whole time. He, should, he didn't have to act so sussy. It's really hard to not relate Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. I don't know growing up they were kind of both released near the same time. So you always, I always got like Gandalf and Dumbledore mixed up and Dobby, Dobby and, and Schmeagol mixed up, you know, cause you know, it's like the respectable wise man and the little creature, you know, I always got those mixed up. <laughs> and also I love Hagrid. Hagrid is such a good character. Um, I don't know how he handles kids running at his door randomly. Cause I'd be like, I'm trying to sit here alone, please. <laughs> but other than that, I, I think this was a great opening to the Harry Potter universe. And I'm excited to kind of see the cast grow into their characters. Because Daniel Radcliffe and everyone, they, they started as children, you know? And then I think the last Harry Potter movie, they're in their late teens. So it's going to be really heartwarming to see them grow together and... I don't know, I'm very excited to see that. I'm also sentimental and I, I think it's gonna be very- it's gonna be really cute and I- that's something I do really want to see. I'm excited and I'm really happy that we, I started this journey and I hope you guys will join me for it. <sighs> I think that this is the perfect time to start it because it's fall and it's just- I don't know. It's great. I'm so happy. So thank you guys so incredibly much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!